Good morning, everybody. Welcome. Oh, the camera's too tight. No. Can you tell I've been doing a ton of different events because my camera changes every single stream I do? Whatever. Hi, everybody. We're here, and I'm very, very excited because we are checking out a brand new game today. We're checking out a game called Moon Glow Bay, which has been on our radar for, oh, goodness, almost a year? A very, very, very long time. This is a super cozy fishing RPG. It's got a cute as heck voxel art. And yeah, we just keep uh, we just keep poking in and being like, is it out? And the answer now is yes. And I'm also very excited to announce that I got a stream key. So thank you very much to Bunny Hug, who are the developers, and uh, Coat Sync who are the publishers for giving me this key. So yeah, full disclosure, I did not pay for this. Um, and I mean, I, I try to be very transparent on when things are going through. There's no deal, there's no sponsorship. They just gave me a key so I could I could highlight the game, which I was gonna, <laughs> I actually wanna share the story. So um, their publisher sent out a tweet being like, hey, would any would any streamers like to reach out for a key for this? Are they, are they curious? You know, what are your thoughts? And this is probably the worst sales pitch ever. I'm like, hi, I'm Serge. I'm a family-friendly streamer. Like, here are some of my numbers and here's some of my metrics. I'm I'm planning on buying this game anyways. <laughs> I'm going to stream this on Wednesday, regardless of if I get a key or not. And I don't I don't know. Maybe that's a good sales pitch because they they're like, I like this guy. We're gonna give him a key. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I'm just going through the press kit real quick. Did you know this game takes place in Eastern Canada? Once the jewel of Eastern Canadian coastlines until rumors of a dangerous fantastical creatures ruined the fishing trade. Neat. Very cool. Very, very, very cool. Eastern Canada. I love it. All right, let's read some stuff real quick. First off, Malk. Thank you for 50 biddies. Uh, Joe left James a fireworks display and James finally found it. So Malk cheered 50 bits for that. Time to fish out in the Bay of Fundy. Oh, maybe. Yeah. Uh, Kerbal Eyes, thank you for 34 months. Hello. Basil with 34 months cashing in another gift sub from Star Wars. My goodness. And Mr. Lecter. Friends, we have a Butterbean in chat. If you have access to a heart emote, I'd love to see us celebrate the new bean. Serge, am I going to get diamond and or pearl? Not much of a Pokemon, if I'm honest. Maybe? No plans currently, Valkore. No plans currently. All right, y'all ready? Y'all ready for this? Let's watch everything go live together. Fish gang, fish gang. That's a really cute logo. Uh, I'm gonna need to figure out what's going on with my mouse here. I have to figure out how to make my controls full screen. <laughs> All right. Uh, do, do, do. Yo, the curator, thank you very, very much for that prime, my friend. All right, hacker voice we're in so far. All right, how do I, how do I get through the different tabs? So this is not a, a mouse game, which is very interesting. I have cancel and I have confirm. How? Do I get to that tab along the top? What button? No.
Uh oh. Um. Oh, I can make the UI bigger. I cannot think of what to do. The tabs might be aesthetic. You think it's just the video control? Hey, what's up, Steel Fox? Okay, let's just give it a play. Let's just give it a play. New game! Oh. Who are we? I choose you. Look at those rosy cheeks. Oh. Surge. Who is your partner? Can I name them Joe? Oh, all right. Okay. Yeah. Oh, come on, you guppy. Grab the line. Yeah. Fishing is easier than it looks. I promise. What are you afraid of? Oh, there's all kinds of things in the sea, Casey. All kinds of things in the sea. <laughs> Nothing except for the water, the monsters, the curse. You know, what the locals say. Huh. They're just stories. Every one of them, I promise. <laughs> Here, let me show you the basics. Follow along. Huh. First, stand in a decent fishing spot, like the edge of the boat, right here. Then select the fish and hook icon to begin. Okay. What? Wait, there's a dog on the boat. Ah, I'm petting it. I don't know what this dog's name is, but very good. Very good. All right, I will fish. Wait, they said right at the edge of the... Nope, I'm fishing right here. Huh. Now, to cast the line, fish will be more cautious if you cast near the boat or the shore. The further you cast, the more likely something will bite. Huh. Press and hold spacebar to cast your line. The longer you hold, the greater the distance. Huh. Perfect. Now, be patient. Keep the lure still and wait for something to bite. The moment the lure dips, press and hold. Is that V or down arrow? I'm hoping that's down arrow to hook the fish. Be quick or it might escape. Huh. Once hooked, continue holding down to reel it in. Okay. Aha. Oh! Yeah. Never mind, you'll catch the next one. I know it. Hold down to reel in the empty line. Um. I guess I don't need to. <laughs> I think it's down? That wasn't a very good cast. Morning, Beholder. You're not getting away. You're not getting away. Fish will change direction. Okay. Oh, God. Am I supposed... Oh, jeez. Okay. I was still supposed to be holding down... Uh, I understand. Okay. Okay. Wow, this is tough. All right. Let's try this again. All right. I'm going to get you, fish. Am I terrible? What's happening here? <laughs> All right, somebody posted trolls in Discord. This is in the game channel? For whatever reason, I have to 
because I have the uh, the desktop app that's not working for login. Troll scheme. All right, what am I looking at here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Reel in is down. Okay. So toggle run. Okay. Camera rotator. Interesting. Okay, so it's definitely down. It's definitely down. Good morning, Garunkle. Thank you so much for five months. I'm going to catch this fish. How dare you? All right. I'm not going to get bested by this fishing tutorial. What am I doing wrong? Hold it down. I am holding it down. Wait, am I breaking the line? Because the line broke from tension. Maybe I'm supposed to tap it. <laughs> Chat! I'm being bested by the fish! This is the tutorial! Hey, JS1813, thank you so much for 39 months. Mm -hmm. Holy crap. So the issue isn't even getting to the quick time pop-up. The, the, the issue is, all right, if I hold down, down, the line breaks. Watch. Wait. Okay, 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 we're doing it. We're doing it. No, get in the boat. This is the most, I've peaked as a gamer. This is the greatest moment I've ever lived. Wow. Are there all Leviathans in this game? I think there are, Mitu. I actually think there are. Anyways, we have caught a belly fish. Hello! For a belly fish, you have a very flat belly. It, my god, 16 kilos? That's a big fish. That's like 40 pounds, Americans. Or like one stone. Wait, two stones? I have no idea how many stones this is. Clearly the photo is upside down. <laughs> All right. All right, I'm not done with you, tutorial. Easy when you get the hang. Give it another go. This time without my help. Okay, I got this. I got this. Yo, potato platypus. Thank you so much for that prime in nine months. I fish. I yeet. All right. Focus time. No, get back here. Good. Good. Keep that line tense. Yeah! Ooh, Child of the Moon. So I would argue that I haven't really done anything different. And I'm now catching fish instead of not catching fish. But I'll take it. Fantastic. And a different species. We'll need a variety to cook and sell for our new business. Okay. Okay. Oh no! I love our derpy dog. Morning, Arclight. Yeah, okay, thanks. Cool! There's the Leviathan! I'm sure it's a friend.
It's just a whale. <laughs> no wonder the fishing trade is ruined. Hi, doggo. Huh. But the bay is full of amazing creatures, all waiting to be discovered. We'll find them and share them with the world. On that note, here to celebrate our new adventure. Hmm. Hey, what happened to the no more surprises? Feels like a book. I'll open it tomorrow night once you're back. Oh, you still want this, right? We could always go back to Ontario. Oh, this game is super Canadian. Hmm. Of course, moving here, it's your dream. Oh, this is... This is setting up to be not good. But I'm asking what you want. What's your dream? This is a, a big question. Hmm. My dream hasn't changed in 40 years. Wait, how old am I? To spend every day with you. My heart. My heart! Huh. And I'll be right here. The whole journey by your side. Welcome home. Moon Glow Bay. I get duped into another horror game? No. Three years later? No! Why am I alone? That sad dog sound. <laughs> so I can look at that photo. What is this weird little plush? Okay. What's happening? Ugh. That's right, Snurge. Oh, oh, our place is so messy. Look, I haven't had my coffee yet. Hold on. What if I just leave? All right, fine. Hi. Hold on. You doing okay, dog? Yeah, good dog. Good dog. What do you want? Hey, Dad. Dad! River, why aren't you in Quebec? I gave my notice. Some things are more important. Is this it? Aww. Presumption of the aforementioned believed to be dead, owing to an absence of no less than three years. Wow, it's all so real. No, oh, there's just empty takeout everywhere. <laughs> it's great you're here, but I'm fine, honestly. Hmm. Actually, I got a new job. I'm overseeing the Centennial Festival. Oh. You're doing what? Here? In Moonglow? The mayor says it'll be a huge boost for the community. Mm. And people need support. The whole bay's been struggling for years. Mm. When the fishing trade collapsed, half the town closed down. Mm. If we can't attract new visitors soon, Moonglow Bay might never recover. Huh. Anyway, on to brighter things. It's time you open that present. Yo, C. Dudson, what's up, friend? Thank you for 29 months. What an auspicious day to do my sub. Okay, okay. Um, I need to open a thing. Wait, is this the book I was supposed to open that night? No! I left it closed for three years? Because I said I would wait until she came back? I need to find the voices for these characters as well. We'll get there, though. A fishing journal? I also have to make sure it's in a voice I can actually do for hours. To my darling Serge, for the journey by your side. No. 
You've been holding on to this for three years, Dad. Maybe it's time to write a new chapter. You're saying I should restart the business? Precisely. A new street food stall is exactly what this town needs. You'd be an inspiration. We should head out right now and catch some ingredients. Okay, okay. But let me tidy first. If I'd known you were coming and ruin the surprise. All right, I'll be down by the beach. Oh, we have a quest. A caller from Quebec. Meet River at the beach. Tidy up the noodle packs. Oh my God. Hey, Casey, it's been three years. Some days are a little easier. Others are impossible. Last week, a letter arrived declaring you dead and absentia. So naturally, our daughter stopped everything to come here. Thank you for my journal. I'll treasure it always and write to you often. Oh, no. Oh, L and J. Hey, we found the way to go through tabs. Wait, hold on. These fish have been sitting in my inventory for three years. Uh, I hope they don't tell me I can cook with them. Hard East Coast accent. Oh, no. All right. So we have a recipe for some fish and chips if we can catch some potatoes. Okay. Here's the fish journal. All right. Now, hold on a second. J and L for the menu, right? So that means... Ah, uh, no. Oh, resume. Okay, um, L and J is not the right controls for up here. Curses! I thought I'd learned. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Let's just keep going. Open the journal. Yes. Right. Tidy up the noodle packs. All right. Okay. Okay. Oh, man. What a mess. All right. Get, get in here. Get in here. Oh, there's a little um, penguin on top of our fridge. Adorable. Oh, these pizza boxes, too. Nice. And I wish cleaning up was this easy. Oh, our place is so cute. So we've got this, like, upstairs area with uh, vines growing up. It. Amazing. That's the last of it. The trash can's outside, since you've clearly forgot, Fisher. Which door do I go out? Oh, there's a raccoon! Ah, the majestic trash panda. Yes, feed, little one. Feed. What are you? Oh, you're a deer. Terrifying. Oh, my items. Yep, these fish have definitely just been chilling here for three plus years. All right. Um. So go to the beach. Dad, you okay? You look lost. Hey, I haven't stepped outside in three years. Cut me some slack. Just looking for that, you know, that place that sells things. If you're looking for somewhere specific in town, just check out your map. Your map displays all shops, businesses, and points of interest. Just press M at any time. Oh, look at this place right on the water. Um. There's our truck. What are you? Abby's scraps. Whatever floats your boat. That's very funny. You were right. The streets are so empty. I barely noticed before. The town needs investment, pure and simple. But at least you have everything you need for business. Your fishing rod, your kitchen, and a place to sell food. Look at those swarms of fish, chat. First things first, let's catch some ingredients. I really hope I can catch a potato. All right, chat, you ready? Turns out even Eastern Canada. Wait, hold on, when are you can use quick bursts of effort. What does that mean? Okay. This te technique is called striking. To strike, move A against the direction the fish is swimming, then press spacebar. Okay. Just don't strike too often or you'll tie yourself out.
Oh. D. Interesting. I don't know if that's actually helping me in any way. There we go. I caught a ling! The tutorial breaking line all the time made it appear as if you fished like a potato. Oh, okay. <laughs> Wait, hold on. You're telling a joke. No, I was the potato all along. How dare you? <laughs> Help, I got owned. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know it's light on actual information. I'm an accountant, not a blummin' marine biologist. Right, anyways, I had a joke. Somebody was saying, I can't believe... Eastern Canada is like Maine, but how do you know Maine isn't like Eastern Canada? Hmm? Hmm? All right, this is an agile, small, and spinner fish. Gotcha. Hey, I'm sure the aquarium can help fill in the details. Ooh, an aquarium. Since we're here, let's recap water behavior and luring. Oh. When reeling a fish, it will behave in one of three ways depending on species. Okay. Fast species will dart around quickly to try and wriggle free, and reflexes are key. Got it? Aggressive species will use a combination of speed and strength to escape. And then finally, resilient species are slow-moving but strong. Oh, we'll have to use powerful strikes for those ones. Okay, neat. Fortunately, you can attract specific fish using lures. Oh. Give it a go. Select a lure and cast your line. Um. That's the I key. The jig lure will attract aggressive and resilient fish. Okay. The spinner will give us give us fast and aggressive, and the plug will attract resilient and fast. Remember to check which lure you're losing when you cast. Okay. Um. Let's try the spinner. Neat. All right, you ready? Let's do this, chat. Yeah. Oh, yeah. God, that was so easy. All right, we're fishing like a pro now. Hello, ocean angel. Can we just appreciate the googly eyes in the voxel version on the left? That's very good. Oh, I'm, I just realized I'm covering a very important moment. There we go. Wait, maybe, maybe I'm better served in the lower right corner. What do you think, chat? Left or right? Bottom right covers the control prompts, though. That's a thick fish. Yeah. Look at look at how good and dangly it is. I keep it. I got quieter when I moved me? That doesn't make sense. Am I doubling my audio sources again? Oh my god, I did. Hold on. Alright, I'm going to be quieter than I was before, but it's going to be... The audio is going to be balanced now. Ha! Ah, I can't believe I did this. Oh well, here we are. Alright, anyways, keeping this fish. Perfect. Finally, a word on bait. What? What's the word on bait? Huh. Baiting your line is essential to catching larger species of fish. There are two types, low and high grade. If you cast with no bait, you'll only get small species. Oh. All right. Low gets you small and medium. And finally, a high grade bait will attract medium and large fish. Huh. Try it now. Okay. All right. So... Medium bait. We've never used a plug before. Wait, yes, we have. Whatever. Neat. Is 19 kilos small? Not very, but I guess, yeah. Like, 19 kilos is a big fish. 
Okay, I'm obviously some kind of god of fishing. <laughs> exactly as intended. Thank you for 38 months. This is a spooky season. Can we say that this is fishing by Stanley Kubrick? <laughs> oh no. Remember, there's a huge range of sea creatures out there, so mix up your lure bait and location to catch a variety. Just be aware that your bait is limited, so be careful you don't run out. Until the sea market reopens, high-grade bait in particular will be in short supply. Hey. Hi, Avi. Stop the press. Surge Fisher is out of the house before midday. Whoa. Whoa. You're trying to be supportive or roast me? Don't judge me. Hmm. Remember River? <gasps> of course. What brings you to our shabby little burg? Wait, Surge, is that... You finally opened it? Huh. It's a fishing journal. Casey and I had a thing for these waters once. Mm. In fact, I'm reviving the business. Selling street food straight from the ocean. Mm. You are gonna? Oh. Ha ha! Ugh. Thanks. Hey. Sorry, but in three years, you never once struck me as outdoorsy. Maybe it's time for change. <laughs> In that case, Captain Noodles. They, they just called me Captain Noodles. How hurtful. If you're going to pedal. How do I pronounce that word? Piscine? If you're going to pedal fish cuisine from the most cursed cove in Canada, <laughs> I insist you learn how to cook. Follow me. All right. Pie scene? Hmm. All right, they're now in our house and in our kitchen. <laughs> Hi. Teach me how to cook. Teach me your ways. Okay, Serge, if you're selling street food, your kitchen is going to be your new best friend. Okay. To create a meal, you need three things. Raw fish, the recipe, and enough shells to cover the cost of any extra ingredients. Oh, cool. All right, I've been playing too many um, like survival games where I need to collect every single ingredient. I'm kind of down for, hey, just use mat, like just use money to kind of hand wave away the rest of the work. Focus on the fishing. She's an expert roaster in more than one sense of the word. Ah, nice. They're in our house and in our kitchen is very accurate of the Maritimes, to be honest. Wow. <laughs> Collected recipes will appear in your journal. When you step into the kitchen, you can browse and choose which meal you'd like to make. Well, look, it wouldn't be it wouldn't be a coastal start if we didn't go for the very wait, I can't afford it? No, we can't afford the potatoes. What does the plus 35% minus 24% mean? Okay, literally we can only make fish cakes. So I choose fish cakes. I make Ocean Angel Fish Cakes. Ooh, Batch Cook. No, I mean Lincoln. Let's go. Wait. Oh, I can Batch Cook. I'll cook all three. Your kitchen is always stocked with supplies, so the only ingredient you need to source are the fish. I'm actually super happy. All right. First, go to the fridge and collect the necessary ingredients. Now, move to the different station around and follow the instructions one by one. Oh my god. Okay. And be precise. Mistakes will lower the quality of your meal and its sale value? Uh-oh. Okay, I'm gonna wash it. Okay, washing. Move A to follow the marker and rinse the ingredients. Holy crap. This is the fishing minigame from Stardew. <laughs> Hold on. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, now I need to chop. Crap. Wrong button. Alright. Press when the marker is... Okay. Oh, I hit L? Okay. Okay. Uh, boil. Okay, keep it at the correct temperature. Holy... Wait. Oh, hello? 
I can't follow it around. I have no idea what that game was trying to tell me to do. Hold the... Okay, well, I messed one up. Now I put it in the oven. Oh. Press when the marker hits the zone. All right, so I did everything perfect except for one thing. What did I get wrong? I got the boiling wrong. Uh-oh. Great! There are other stations around the kitchen, but you'll figure them out. Okay. Uh, I made three two-star fish cakes. Yay! Okay, I'm out of ingredients. All right. Finally, always remember to put your cooked meals out for sale. The storage box in your front yard will do for now. Okay. Okay. Good dog. I cooked. Aren't you proud of me? Fish cakes. 24% off. Wait, did that work? No. Nice. Wait, I had more fish. <laughs> Perfect. Here you can sell the fish you catch and the meals you cook. All right. All right. Fish and meals will sell gradually throughout the day and the shells you earn will be transferred direct to your account. Mmm. This old box isn't very appealing. You should upgrade it to a proper machine. Mm -hmm. Haru Gotu runs the tech shop. He'll give you a good deal. Oh. Speaking of new people... If you're exploring the waves, you'll need to recover your trawler. Chat to Sarah at the boat shop. Finally, for information about the fish species and filling your journal, speak to the marina about an aquarium. <clears throat> Serge, you're serious about this? No one's been out on those waters for three years since Casey. I know. You have a controller? I So two things. One, I don't have a controller. And two, I actually have a dis uh, disability in my left hand. I can't use a controller. So I'm kind of stuck using a mouse and keyboard for this either way. I had um, I had an operation to remove a, a growth in my left hand. And it means I don't have really good mechanical control of these three fingers. So a keyboard is fine. But I actually can't use controllers to play video games. Huh? Anyways, there are dozens, hundreds of strange, dangerous creatures out there. And we both know what it's like to lose someone. It'll be okay. Wait, I'll be okay. Trust me. So, Sarah, Haru, and Marina. I'll see you soon. All right. So, somebody said there are camera controls. Uh, let me check the Discord here. So, the camera controls are... Oh, I didn't make that any bigger. Toggle run is shift. Okay. U and O to rotate camera. How do I zoom out the camera? Camera zoom. Looks like Q and E. Okay. Ooh. Oh, look at this. Hello, trash panda. All right. Uh, let's go talk to these people. So this is the boat place. Hello. Oh. Have a browse. All right. Apparently you don't have anything right now. Cool. Uh, no. Back anytime. Game looks super cozy. It is Electra. All right. Where else are we going here? Um, Hills Point. Oh, it actually shows the map markers. Amazing. There's the tech shop. There's the boat shop. There's the aquarium. Okay. Real time solutions. Boo! Hey, Serge, long time no see. What can I help you with? Huh. Selling fish. <laughs> fish? Yes, fish. Wait, yes, fish. 
Why are we whispering? <clears throat> Just been so long since anyone sailed the bay. What are you currently using? <gasps> My storefront is basically a storage box and an honor system. <laughs> hey, it works in small towns. That's just sad. What you need is a windowed poly vend. A vending machine for seafood? Absolutely. My dad ordered a few on special import. But with half the town shut down, our three units in stock are proving tricky to shift. Tell you what, cook up and bring me a sample of fish and chips. Maybe I can swing you a new customer discount for a display model. Sounds more like cooking you a lunch discount, but okay. All right, I just need enough money to afford a potato. <laughs> I just need, I just need to be able to afford a potato. And then we can buy a vending machine for the low, low cost of one potato. Wait, is this garbage on the sea? How dare you? Can I clean it up or no? It's okay, dog. We'll get all this garbage off the beach and then you can run free. I'm stuck on my dog. There's garbage everywhere. Hey, Serge, um, Fisher. Oh, yeah. And hello to you, Sarah Johnson. It's been a while, huh? Finally come to collect your trawler? Exactly. The two cats. Our boat is named the two cats? Joe! It's perfect. Seriously. I thought I was making a joke. Clearly not a funny one. In that case, let me find your paperwork. The two cats. Uh, clogged fuel pump. The intake valve is shot. For three years storage, you got off easy. It'll be a hundred clams. You can pay once I've finished the work. A hundred? That seems low. Yeah, don't worry. It's the least. For Casey. No. Just give me a little time to finish up. I'll be in touch once the repairs are complete. Okay, okay. The name of the boat is confusing because you named your character Cat. That's really funny. Three cats in a trench coat. That's really funny. All right. Come on, doggo. What's the name of our dog? Is our dog's name Dog? I can't remember. I actually can't remember the name of our dog. Oh, aquariums. Welcome. Apologies. The aquarium isn't open for visitors. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm no tourist. I'm looking for Marina. Ah. At your service. Wait, Serge, right? Casey's husband. Ah. Casey was the soul of this place. The only sailor unfazed by all the legends. Someone who truly recognized the potential of both aquarium and moon glow. What? Potential? For what? Yeah. To be famous. Ooh, I like Marina. There are countless species out there to attract to these waters. Just a handful would make the aquarium a huge tourist attraction. With a little investment, we could study the whole aquatic biome, turn this archaic town of mists and monsters into a hub of scientific progress. But when Casey vanished, those dreams vanished too. How can I help? I'm fishing for seafood anyway. I could continue where Casey left off. Wow, that would be incredible, but it's a huge undertaking. Quite simply, the aquarium needs new species, as many as you can find. The more unique creatures we house, the more visitors. Yeah. All right, so now we have to do the most impossible thing. To choose to display or eat fish. Oh, I'm torn. Business would attract, wait. Business across town would benefit, including yours. Every new species brings a boost to your sales. Where do I start? Bring me three new species. Any three you find. Okay, okay. The tank on the decision. Boo! So, I have one fish you may have. How come no one's helped in the last three years? Because of the curse. Sailors don't dare go out. I can fish from the pier, but I'm a hopeless mariner. You don't need to point out the irony. Look at that big old skeleton. I will donate a fish. Have one child of the moon. Thanks. Can I see my fish? Not there. Okay. Where is it? Where's my fish? 
Are you in this one? Where did you go? I think it's in the bottom tank. <gasps> there it is! Yeah! Hi, little friend! I hope you like your new home. It was that or get cooked. <laughs> All right. So my plan now is let's just go down to the beach and let's fish for the rest of the day, right? Is there anything else I'm supposed to do today? Yeah. Just cook. Cook and get potatoes. There's the fishing point. Um, I think I'm not going to use any... Nah, let's use some bait. Why not, right? Let's go with the lure. It's fishing time, chat. Can you imagine if it was your job to maintain empty fish tanks for like three years? Caught a new ling. I'll keep it. Oh, hello, slicing tail. Saying the aquarium seems fishy. I don't know. I don't know how much time you spent in small towns, but it does not surprise me even for one second that there'd be a person who would maintain an aquarium like that for three years. All right. So let's change our bait because we're just catching lings again. Um. All right. So let's try jigging now. Slicing tail seems like a Pokemon. That's fair. Moon eel. All right. I think they're closed for the day. So let's just keep fishing. There's a retired guy in the shop that you live in that sells rocks. Yeah, right? All right. Another slicing tail. I've already caught you before. And I switch you to something else. Let's try. Let's try plugging instead. We travel the coast, we get different fish. There's only the one sign for fishing spot, maybe. My main goal right now is just to get some uh, some money so we can make the fish and chips. I'm imagining once we get in our boat. Yeah, I'm just catching more ling. Let's give it a try, though. Let's give it a try. It's a good strategy. So, like... Can I fish from here? Yeah, there's no... There's no fishing point there, you know what I mean? But maybe off the dock. Can I fish from here? Nice, I can. Good call, chat. Ooh, a seagull. Oh, they're so derpy looking. I love them. Okay, same fish. Now, I imagine coastal fish are going to be much the same. Do you get extra points if you manage to clock a seagull? I don't believe so. We just get to enjoy their majesty. Okay, well, we've got a bunch of different types of fish now. I think we've got four different types of fish on us. How do I check my inventory? There we go. Four different types of fish, one of which is new. And we've already given the aquarium a moon eel, right? Which means I can cook... God, how many fish is that? I can cook eight fish. 
No, that's wrong because I want to make them. Which fish should I put in the aquarium, chat? I gave them a, a moon eel, right? Not a ling? It was an eel looking creature. I wish I could tell. You go there. Oh, I don't want to go there. I want to find out what's on me because I want to cook first, right? It was a child of the moon. Oh, cool. So I don't have um, I don't have it on me. Oops. That was a very bad cast. Whatever. It says in the description if we aquariumed it. Amazing. Okay. Yeah. The 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 problem I want to work around is I don't want to cook a fish that I could donate. You know what I mean? Oh, I threw it back. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. Oh, well. You may live. <laughs> Ooh. Wow, that's a substantially larger grating belly fish. All right, it's cooking time. So if I hit backspace and we walk out of here and then we go to our book menu. Right, so that's why we have the information. Strong, small, shallow, all, jig everywhere. One of several species known only there. Okay, and that's why we have so much information compared to the other ones. I can ask around for the ocean angel. Okay. Neat. Very neat. All right. Time for some cooking. I wonder if I need to sleep in this game. Ooh, okay. So I need to make one fish and chips. Nice. I can afford to make two of them. Then what do we have here? Sizzling fish. Ooh, okay. Don't use the ling. Don't use the grating belly fish. Got it. Let's make a couple of these. Crap. Make a couple of these. We'll use it with the uh, slicing tails. All right, it's time to cook. Get fish. Chop fish. Oh, crap. It's L, not spacebar. All right, uh, okay. Okay. Okay, okay. Now we'll get potatoes. Uh, it's chop chop time. Okay, good. Good. Now we boil it. Shh. Okay, this is very difficult to do that particular one on the mouse and keyboard. <laughs> All right, um, and now we want to make some of these. Get fish, wash fish. Nice. Fry fish. Well done, us. Hey, a three-star meal. An entire fish. That's looking pretty good, eh, chat? I'd eat that. All right, let's make three of these. Ah. 
get back here. <laughs> Alright, let's chop chop these fish. No! Okay, slightly undercooked. This is fine. Okay. Can you remap the keys? Uh, I mean, the problem is you have to do a full circle with the controls on that particular one. Uh, the, the issue is the minigame is designed to use a, a joystick. So I don't think there's an easier way to control that, you know what I mean? Alright. Um, that's good enough for now. So let's go outside and let's put all that stuff in there. We need to remember to keep one fish and chips, though. All right, good. Good stuff. Let's sleep for the day. The night. And then everyone can... Oh, we have to say goodnight to our dog first. Everyone can wake up and have our fresh... Our fresh... Uh, Night made before fish and chips, right? Alright, sleep time. Let's set the alarm for morning. <clears throat> you don't need to sleep? How dare you? I'll sleep if I want to sleep. You don't need to sleep. That's how you get burnt out, I'll have you know. All right, let's go get our uh, fish selling thing. Where am I going here? Trying to find the go to tech. There we go. There it is. Wait. Oh, hello? Mr. Fisher, good day to you. You came looking for musing nautical tales, I have none. So stop fishing. What? Am I in the wrong store? Hold on. Time out. Time out. Wait. Why do I have... I'm in the right place to buy that vending machine, right? Do I have to wait for their kid to come back? At the tech shop. I'm at the tech shop, right? Maybe upstairs? Well, let's run up to the aquarium and drop off for... Oh, I cooked all my fish, chat! Why'd I cook all the fish? I think I left to, but I, I got so carried away with cooking that I cooked all the fish I intended to donate. Welp! I think we have enough still. Is the marina closed? Hello? Oh, there you are. You wondered about that? Yeah, I got, I completely lost track of time. Ah, <sighs> God. <laughs> oh, well. Ah, it happens to the best of us. All right. It's okay. I'm sure the game about catching fish will give us plenty more opportunities to catch more fish. Alright, we just need to catch one more. One more any random fish. Perfect! Ooh, you're new! Hello! 
I will not cook you. So my plan now is to drop off the fish first. Keep my eyes on that prized potato. I got the potato! It's in my inventory. I have already fished and chipsed. Ooh, wow. Oh my god, I'm sorry. Our previous record was 20 kilos? This one is 32. That's a big fish. 32 kilos? It's like 70 pounds. That's a large fish. It's pure gold. It's a dense fish, yeah. Maybe we're giants? That's fair. Yeah, we don't know how much we weigh. Canadians are quite large. You ever met a Canadian? They're th we're thick. I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, I also like the fact, see, to show how large we are, we're carrying literal hundreds of kilos of fish on us, not even breaking a sweat. The average Canadian weighs four tons and is 70 feet tall. I got tired there. Okay. All right. That should be plenty. Yeah. And one 70 pound fish goes into a single order of fish and chips. Where's the ramp? There it is. Hi. I have fish for you. Yeah. Huh? Fish. Donate. There we go. Fantastic. This place is finally coming alive. I can't wait to tell Olivia. At this rate, I'll need to buy a whole new wing. Ooh. So this is only the beginning, right? You'll need more? Absolutely. Lots more. This is an ongoing enterprise. Remember, you're helping the whole community. Every new fish will increase the sale price of the meals in the vending machine. Plus, as a personal expense, I'll provide you all the information I can for your journal. Facts. Fishing tips, plus interesting folklore. Hmm. Moongol Bay has been plagued by myths and mysteries for decades. But with your help, we'll turn these ailing town into a beacon of progress. But remember, when you catch a new species, bring it straight here. All right, I'm being very called out there. What does L do? Your items. Wait, did I not donate these? Okay, apparently didn't accept all of those. So, hold on. Let's go to our fish journal now. Let's see what we got. Wait, it all got scrubbed out. So, the Ling. In Curious, swims near town... I'll add any myths I find as we go. Okay, the white belly. Found in temperate coastal waters. Thought to cause drowsiness, but only when consumed with a large plate of potatoes. I see. All right, we haven't given it a slicing tail yet. Gotcha. The ocean angel. Rumored to cause infidelity. Sure, blame the fish. Wow. All right. Whenever several species known to Moon Glow Bay, like the town itself, it has an active imagination. Okay. Adorable, chat. Adorable. Huh. Look at this good aquarium. Hello. All right, let's see if our friend is back in town now. So we need to make enough money. We need 100 shells. We're at 98 currently. So hopefully the vending machine makes it easier for us to make uh, big money off of everything. Hey, there you are. How's our fledging chef? Stuck. This recipe. Wait, what do you mean? I have a fish and chips on me. Just follow the recipe. 
Give item. There we go. Your fish and chips. Impressive. Let's see. Attractive. Plated. Well seasoned. Street style. Your presentation is top notch. The top notch. The windowed poly vent is exactly what you need. It's eye catching and simple to use. Your customers will happily pay a little extra per dish. You know, instead of reaching out of a crate at the side of the road, I love it. <clears throat> I love it. And deliver the display model straight to your house. It's all yours. No charge. Wow. Just keep cooking. And I and think of Haru when you need an upgrade. Okay. What else do we have here? Thanks again for the fish and chips. Thank you for the vending machine. Let me know if you'd like to try something a bit more outlandish. Ooh. Hey, Squirrel Earl. Thank you for 43 months. Wait, you don't even like seafood? How dare you? How about mussels? Whoa. Viscount Sticks. Thank you for 900 biddies. I just finished watching the Subnautica VODs. Sorry I couldn't watch them live. It was great watching you experience it and involved through that experience. I have no right to read, but I feel proud of you at the end. I have a terror-free coffee on me. Yo, thank you so much, friend. That's very generous. Glad you enjoyed the playthrough. All right, do you like mussels? Oh, thank you, Joe. You hear me getting raspy from all the narration I have to do for this game? Joe brought me my throat goo. We get some thanks Joes in chat. All right, don't like seafood, don't like mussels. How about shrimp? Lobster? Never tried lobster. All right, we need to get them one boiled lobster. I imagine I'll need to have a boat for that. You'll get back the vending machine? No, but I promise to stop making you try new things. Incredible. We can also give them a gift. Okay, okay. What are you after? So let's check out this store here. Oh my god, it's so expensive. So we can get a sonar later on. Increases the sale price of all fish in the vending machine by 10%. Okay. Okay, fish go... Oh, you can just sell fish if you don't want to cook them. Wow, okay. I can also just straight up sell fish if I want to. Meals go up by 10%. You can only have one sign. So you pick one of the two signs. Or you can have a second vending machine for 250. Oh, wow. You can have different locations. Neat. All right, we're learning a lot here, chat. All right, so we need a thousand dollar dues, or pardon me, a hundred dollar dues. At which point we'll be able to buy back our boat. We currently have ninety eight. Is there a shortcut for opening my inventory? No. All right, so I currently have six fish on me. That's an okay amount to cook with. But we can do better, right? Wait. Oh! Success! I recovered the two cats and I purchased a shiny new vending machine. Mm -hmm. And that suddenly makes you Felix Wilson. Does anybody know who Felix Wilson is? Mm -hmm. Who? Oh, the angler! The famous angler. Okay. So what? You go and attack the bay with a rod and a plucky attitude? What else do I need? A net, for starters. Come on, let me show you. All right. All right. Net fishing is a great way to acquire bait or to catch several small fish all at once. It's also the only way to catch species that cannot be lured. See those bugs? They're sand fleas. Sand fleas give you low-grade bait, ideal for most fish in the bay. Okay. To cast your net, tap spacebar to build power, and again to release. Release when your arm is fully extended for a bigger throw. Give it a go.
All right, not bad, not bad. Wow, look at them all. All right, I will keep them all. No! 1.5 kilo sand flea. I'm telling you, everything in Canada is ginormous, chat. Okay, that was a bad throw. That was a bad throw. Oh, I can aim it. Got him. Y'all just have no idea how large Canadians are. Every sand flea produces three pieces of grape. Low grade feet. Okay. And you're doing the bay favor. Okay. Just look for dark areas in the water. Cast your net and you'll find something. Hey, Dad. I just saw Sarah at the boat shop. The two cats is ready to go. For the record, I really don't like you sailing out into the great blue yonder. Why? Because of the monster? Don't joke! People have lost their livelihoods to that thing. It's not a monster. I know that much. And we've learned all we can from the shore. <laughs> then at least get a decent radio. That way, if you get into trouble, you need my tugboat and winch, you can call. Oh. Hey, that reminds me. I've been summoned to a meeting at Town Hall. Want to come along? I can introduce you to the mayor. Oh. Very fancy. I'll wear my best outfit. That we're currently wearing. On the way, could you send home Casper? Wait, is Casper the dog? Rather not have to worry about both of you. Careful out there on the water, Serge. I mean it. Huh. Good dog stretch. What shall we tackle first? Let's speak to Stare at the boat stop. Okay. There's a whole ocean to explore. Okay. <clears throat> oh, hi, child. Hello, Mr. Fisher. Hi, Casper. Wait, your dog is not Casper. What's wrong, Casper? Oh, nothing. I smelt this herb a while ago, and it reminds me of Dad. Can't think of the name. C cilantro? <laughs> huh? That's it. Dad used to cook this meal with it all the time, but I can barely remember what it tastes like, and I don't want to ever forget. <sighs> Maybe we can help. That child gave us cilantro. <clears throat> Y'all don't like cilantro? Alright, hold on. Show of hands. Who in chat likes cilantro? How do I catch lobster? Okay, good. I'm glad I'm not alone. What is cilantro? Cilantro is a, um, like a green leafy herb, smaller leaves than basil or something like that. And it's a, it's a pretty popular seasoning in, uh, I think like Mexican food uses it a ton. I, I, I saw it, C. Dudson. Thank you for the hundred bits to tell me my dog. My dog's name is whatever I want to call my dog. I appreciate the bits, but please don't use bits to correct a misunderstanding. Feels very backseaty. I do appreciate it, though. Yeah. So, wait. Cilantro is also coriander? I didn't hear about that. Really? Hold on. Time out. I thought those were different. Don't make me Google things. Coriander is the plant. Cilantro is the leaf of the plant. The seed from the plant are also referred to as coriander. Neat. Okay. feel like we're learning a lot. Yeah. It's a plant thing. It's a leaf and a stem thing that you'll find on food. Um, some people think it's delicious, some people say it tastes like soap, and that's the sort of thing that is often attributed to genetics. I think it's like, um, it's like asparagus is super weird to some people too. <clears throat> Thomas says it's soap, yeah. Alright, uh, let's keep exploring. So, the game has given us a lot of information all at the same time here. I guess I have to go meet the mayor? 
Yeah, I don't have enough dollar dues to pick up the boat, so I don't think there's any point in going there right now, right? So let's just go figure out our next destination. We need a lobster for town. Where's town hall? Oh, look at this fancy town hall. River and Surge, welcome to the end times. Uh-oh. What's going on? You're closing town hall? I have no choice. For years, we've barely scraped by. Actually, River, that's why I wanted to speak to you. There's no money left for next year's centennial. There's no money left for anything. Oh no, the town. I'm afraid I can't hire you. Boon Glow Bay is finished. Chat, we have to save this town. But that's the whole reason I'm here, is to help with repairs and funding. Surely we can do something. You're kind, but it's too late. Every building, business, and public space needs renovating. Irony is, the town folks have spare money. Just look at the bulletin board, but no one is willing to invest. The cozy cavern alone, okay, okay, okay. So we start there. Please keep this place running a little bit longer. Getting some Stardew vibes? Yeah. I, you know, it's pretty influential. Inkslayer, thank you for 100 bits. Surge, I appoint you to save Moonglow Bay. Sun disc, 100 bits to call my dog whatever you want. Thank you. We don't have to, yeah. The dog is just our dog. The dog is wonderful. No, no good or bad feelings either way with the dog. The dog is adorable and it will get many pats, right? Arclight says, I grew up in a small town in Nova Scotia that actually lost its town status because it was so small and ec economically troubled. Oh no! Sorry to be wearing the same shirt today. You obviously have excellent taste in shirts, Ink Slayer. You know what, Surge? Why not? One last hurrah! Town Hall stays open! Yeah, rip off those boards. <laughs> Dang. Dang. Good luck, Mr. Fisher. And River! I'll see you on Monday. Wait, how are we? Oh, you. <laughs> Sorry. Can we take a second to appreciate that the boards across the door were literally ripped out of the flooring in front of us? Do you see the hole? Dad, don't make promises. For three years, I watched this town crack and crumble. Casey would have never let that happen. She'd fight every day. All right, so what we need to do is go into the sea and punch fish, apparently. All right, and invest in as many properties as possible. Every renovation will steadily improve tourism, which will gradually make our fish sell for even more money. Keep an eye out for renovation signs, then invest when you can. All right, first stop, the Cozy Cavern. Uh, where is that? Hey, wait, can I fish in here too? Are there pond fish? Oh, what this tree? Yeah, we're basically just playing Monopoly. Uh? At the end of this, we'll own the whole town, chat. It'll be ours. Thank you, Jojo. Welcome to the cozy cavern. Well, what's left of it? JP! Oh, man. Classic Canadian name here. So, is this Moon Glow Bay's famous rumor mill? Surge, don't make it on our boat. <sighs> it used to be, before the fishing trade collapsed, every night there'd be new stories of strange and eerie creatures beneath the waves. The tales would start off modest, of course. Tentacles, giant eyes, funny color. Then, everyone would chime in and embellish with their own hazy recollections. <laughs> Before you know it, that same creature is 10 feet long and summons the plague. The cavern did great in those days, till the rumors came back to haunt us. And the whole town became too frightened to fish. I think I understand. The mayor said you're looking for investors. Yeah, and we're close to our target. Hence me freezing my butt off out in the cold. Check the sign if you'd like to add to the pot. Can I invest in the town by just giving everybody fish?
Oh, the lights are on. Do you sell hot food? What's the thing we have is ketchup flavored chips. Oh, this is so Canadian. How about some grilled oysters? Okay. $300? Man. Everybody just wants money. And all I have to offer is fish. <laughs> Alright, I'm supposed to find dark spots in the water. And then use... There's a dark spot. And then use my net. Wait, I can't cast from there. Seagull? Oh my goodness! Look at these very good dogs! Wow. They have three dogs. They must be so happy. And they have three bait left? Wow. Alright, let's jig a little here, chat. Pollock! Look at it! It's so angular. Alright, that's another fish for the museum. Thirty-seven kilo white belly? Wet. Yeah. That is, of course, the correct pronunciation. White Belly makes great fish and chips. Alright, I think I'm out of bait. Wait, don't I have all those bugs in my inventory? Hold on, time out. How do I turn these into bait? Well, I haven't even set up my vending machine yet. That's fine. Okay. How do I... Alright, let's head home. Let's head home and see if we can learn some stuff. Wait, I cook the bait? That can't be right. Where is my home? Down this way, right? It's right here. Now, first off... Oh, I just have a vending machine now. Weird. <laughs> Try these 10 tips for bait. Number 7 will shock you. Very good. Oh, oh, I see. Okay. So, I guess I just placed it there? Is that what just happened? Nope, still in my inventory. Weird. Hi, doggo. Yes, very good. Look at that little tang tongue blip. All right. Uh, bait. I cook you. Oh, interesting. You can make bait out of fish as well if you wanted to. I'll have you know that bait is not fish. <clears throat> Alright, we got 21 now. Amazing. So, why can't I cook this? Oh! <clears throat> okay. Requires lobster. So, fish and chips looks like it's our best-selling meal so far. You was hoping I'd play this? Hey, what's up, Star Wars? <laughs> Welcome, my friend. Okay. So, other things that I want to make is... Ooh, fish and chip mastery. Wait, hold on. Oh, fish chingers. Oh, I see. Sorry. 
I just said a bunch of different words all at the same time there. What is this? High grade bait requires a medium fish and a meat cleaver. Okay, we're learning a lot. So, <laughs> yeah. You caught me saying fish chingers. Okay, I see. So, I don't actually think fish and chips is the way to go, right? Sells for 23, but it costs us 10 to make. So, that means we're only making 13. I think fish cakes. Fish cakes and this whole fish are the way to go, eh? Oops, wrong button. So let's use these white bellies. Oh, but I have to fry them? No, washing them is the hard one. It's okay. I'm going to nail this, chat. Washing is easy. It's the boil, which is the hardest minigame for us to nail. <clears throat> is the cost in addition to spending ingredients? Uh, the cost is the ingredients. No smoke fire. What did Snurge say that everyone's freaking out about here? No, I'm just confused. All right. Anyways, let's uh, let's fry this. Nailed it. All right. Two whole fish cook some more here. Uh, let's cook these ling, of which we have one. <clears throat> let's cook this one singular ling. Let's wash it first. It's definitely better to batch cook. that and then bake heck yeah three star yeah all right good stuff good stuff okay um and then we're gonna cook the rest of these fish here we want to make sure we don't oh well you know what i'll just actually hold on to these this is fine hey chat give me one quick second uh before we stock the main machine i'm gonna take a very short bio break i have to pee I'll be right back and then uh, more fish gang. So stick around. Hi, everybody. We're back. We are back. All right, let's go and stock our delicious looking vending machine with all of our new fish stuff. Pardon me. This is the most narration I've had to do in a game in a while. So my throat's getting all worn out. Okay, how do I stock this? Oh, I hit spacebar. 
Uh, one sizzling fish, please. Wait, is that it? At the end? Wait, how could I not? I'll put one in each spot. There we go. Yeah! So, I have all of these eels. Can I not cook eel? Um, maybe I'm supposed to make bait out of eel. Because, like, check out my inventory, right? I have... I have so many moon eels. What do I do with you? Are moon eels not good eating? Let's turn them into bait, I guess. Because it says any fish, but saying any fish is a lie. Maybe an eel isn't a fish. See? It says any fish. Hmm. Hey, Serge. I'm watching the new Mine O'Clock and can find the link to Uno. Can't find the link to Uno? By the way, thanks for being a great person. Uh, did somebody want to throw a link to Uno's channel in chat? Twitch.tv slash rebellious Uno. Also, if you go into uh, the Lonely Ready Run chat and you do exclamation Uno, it should give you a link to, um, to Uno as well. It's like the Uno dos trays, all those things. All right, I'm going to cut up this eel. Yeah. Turns out this game hates... Wait, I can't even make bait out of eels. Hold on. Time out. I can't even... This poor eel! No love for the eel, chat. No love for the eel. I can't even make it into bait. like kitty shows up is snurge okay and then snurge is like am i can this aubergine my precious idiot squids are the p and you're like yep snurge is fine <laughs> hey what's up ben smith thank you so much for five months in that prime i really do appreciate it okay so um we've learned that moon glow bay hates eels i'll never catch an eel again all right, bedtime. So hopefully when we wake up, we have lots of money. That's not the right button. Lots of money. Survey says... This is adorable. Hi, doggo. Are we rich? Eh, oh my god. $200 dues. Heck yeah, let's get a boat. Good morning, doggo. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, you chase that raccoon. Alright, so our boat is in the marina. What is this? Objective. What? What objective is that? Oh, right. The, the child. We said Uno too many times and now we summoned him. Hold on. What is this? Moon glow is full of strange stories, Serge. Try talking to people around town. I, I, I just did. How do I use my net, by the way? It doesn't look like I can just pull out my net anytime I want. I was hoping to clean up the trash. I can't interact with it, right? Oh. Take care out in the shallows. I can patch up the boat just fine. Patching up people? Well, that's a physician's job. What's this? Quick repair. Full repair. Oh, neat. Okay. Oh. So, do I have my boat back? I'm sorry. I'm confused. I thought I had to pay somebody $100 to get my boat back. Where's my boat? <laughs> Is the dock up here? Is this our boat?
My leg's gone to sleep. How do you stand up fishing all day? Okay. Hmm. Greetings, fellow angler. Know ye the mighty devourer. <laughs> that fiend will go gobble up your whole wardrobe. Whole! Really? It eats planks of mahogany? <laughs> No, I mean your outfit, your clothes. Small articles anyways. What I'm saying is, it once ate a sock, I reckon. Okay. All right, I'm deliberately walking on the beach now. <gasps> Net! Oh, I threw it into the water. Uh, is my neck gone forever? What do I What do I do here? Help! All right, I can't yeet too far. All right, too weak, too weak. All right, we got this. We got this. Too weak again. This is fine. This is fine. Ah, perfect. Yeah. Can I take that can too? Okay, I can't. Looks like I can't pick up garbage. Wait, there's a step here? Hold on. Did this get stuck again? What is happening? All right, whatever. Where's my boat? So maybe I do have to do that full repair. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. Um, I'm gonna try going back to the repair place and I'm gonna give them money, even though it doesn't seem like the boat is related to it, like it's not a quest thing. Worst case scenario, we're at 100 shells and whatever, so it goes. Oh, hi! Good timing. I just finished replacing the intake valve. And for you, the keys to the two cats. Thank you very much. I don't see a car. How are you towing it? Uh, I'm not. I'm sailing. S sailing? Y yeah, you know, on the bay. On the bay? Are you okay? Yeah, but no one sails in Moonglow Bay. Not since the collapse. Let's just say... The tides are turning. Okay. In that case, I know one young girl who will certainly be pleased. Uh. Claire, Abby's daughter. If you catch up with her, she might have a small job for you. Aside from that, be safe out there. These are strange waters. Ah. Woo! The world is our oyster. And our fish. And our lobster. And every other creature out there. Where shall we explore first? What's even out there? A lot. And the weather can shift dramatically depending on where we go. We're in the calm bay waters here, but it gets a lot colder near the glaciers to the north. Huh. Then, over to the east, there's the waking storm and the hot springs. Hmm. Each area is split into sections, which will help you navigate. For now, let's fish in the bay water area. Check out the Azure Crossing, the Perching Isles, or the Border Sea. <gasps> Wait, I can cast my net off the edge? Sure, let's give that a try. Yeet! Okay, I probably need to wait for fish. So maybe if I see fish off the edge, I can yeet? Ah, like that! Aha! Okay, can I move my boat? How do I move my boat? <gasps> oh, 
Oh, I scared the fish. Okay, okay, it's net time. Oh, are you ready for this chat? Okay, all right, false alarm. <laughs> are you ready for this chat? Wait, that didn't do anything? This chat? How about this chat? Yes. Good. Good. I mean, right? Wait, how do I change my? Sorry, how do I change my bait here? <laughs> Release. Get out of here, eel. All right, uh, maybe I have to go back into the boat here if I want to change my setup. Yeah, weird that I have to do this inside. Hey! The Bay Ripple Fish. That's a new friend. Alright, we got another one of you. Good. Let's fish over this way this time. wrong button. Do you often cook your friends, Surge? No, not since the pandemic started. <laughs> okay. Alright. Catching a lot of the same one. Let's go to a new location. Right? Let's explore. <gasps> Wait, what was the button to zoom out again? Look at us little putt-putting around, chat. So they said, wait, hold on, oh my God. Where are the locations I'm supposed to go to? <gasps> Down here, oh my goodness. Wow, that's so far to go. Oh, I love this. Wait, what's this? What's this? It's everything. Making some adjustments to the keyboard control the next patch and a configurable keyboard. Cool. That's a bigger project. Very cool. All right. So the net does nothing. I've been betrayed by the net for the last time. See my ability to perfectly hit that fishing spot? Comes from years of playing World of Warcraft. Singular year. Once? How long did I play World of Warcraft for? <gasps> the slicing tail is back. Okay. Sounds like the net doesn't work on School of Fish, but what does work on the School of Fish? I just don't understand. 
I tried it on the uh, the the swimmy group as well, right? <gasps> Ooh, hello, Black Drum man, chat. We're gonna have so many things to gift to the museum when we get out of here. Yay! Yellowtail Snapper. Can you pet the dog? Oh, we pet it daily, bird. We pet the, the dog constantly. Look for dark spots in the water. Give it a try. All right, give me a second. Let's uh, let's switch our loadout here to see if we can catch some different fish as well. So let's go to a plug. We'll keep using the bait though. Oh, it's raining. Maybe there's a special rainy fish we can catch. Ooh, oh my god. <laughs> we caught a couch potato. We did it. We finally caught a potato. Now we can finally make fish and chips chat. We couldn't before. Get back here, fish. Ooh, the turquoise fighter. Alright, let's do a couple more casts with this setup, and then we'll switch to the final one to see how many more new and exciting fish we can catch. Let's just stay out all night. What time does the museum open? Like, uh, 6 in the morning? Get out of here, eel. This is a no eel boat. So we'll head back. We'll start heading back at 6 a.m. In before eels are actually secretly worth like a ton of money. All right. Um, let's change to. We want the jig now. The jig is up, chat. So previously, the, the price on selling a fish is like one or two shells. The price on cooking a fish is like 25. Just doesn't seem worth it to even have them in my inventory. Ah, the Atlantic cod. Sure is a cod there, chat. Silent killers, we call them on the East Coast. In before eels are actually the final boss. You think eels took Casey away from us? Get out of here, eel! Caught his trash to your whitefish IRL. Yeah. <laughs> Nature is eeling. Get out of here. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever actually eaten eel. Another cod. I'll take all this cod. Make fish and chips out of this. What's the other whitefish? It's like you only eat cod when halibut's too expensive. Haddock? Oh, right. Okay, sorry. Haddock is... Right, right, right. Wait, you think haddock is better than cod? Isn't that the other way around? I thought haddock was the ultimate trash tier whitefish. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. I think you've got that... The I think you've got that mixed up. It goes halibut as the top tier, then cod, then haddock.
Cod was so good it nearly went extinct? Yeah. My family's from the Maritimes. Cod is terrible and it's full of worms. Well, okay, hold on. Hold on. That's that's one problem there. The worms... The worms... <laughs> oh, heck, we've been fishing almost all day. Alright, slicing tail. Stop using worms to catch the cod. <laughs> uh, oh, chat. Yeah, we're getting we're getting punchy this morning. All right, that's enough. That's enough of that. Let's let's head home. Let's head home. We got a boat full of fish. Um. Wait, can I just take this thing backwards the whole way? Which way is home? Is this way home? I'm so turned around. Oh, there's a compass! Great. Yeah, we want to go north. Nope. Definitely want to be going west. <laughs> this game's super cozy. Welcome, Tedder. Smoked salmon is great. Salmon fillets can stop existing, preferably as soon as possible. What's wrong with fillets? Wait, where do I dock? Hold on. Time out. Um, let's take this right to... I don't actually know how to get out of my boat. Let's go straight to the museum and see what happens. Did I miss a tutorial on how to get out of our boat? <laughs> uh, <laughs> help! <laughs> yeah, it turns out our wife isn't missing. She's just been like trying to figure out how to dock this whole time. <laughs> Alright, we're home. We're home. Uh, we got there. Yeah, it's a fishing RPG. It's um, it's Stardew, but imagine the only thing you did in Stardew was fish. Oh yeah, you can also call it an FRPG. I like it. So it's Stardew. I don't know. I kind of found the mines to be a really fun part of Stardew, which is also interesting because, of course, the uh, the haunted chocolatier. Seems to be on board with that, too. All right. Have all of these fish. God, you're going to get so many fish. Wait. Yeah, I'll give you a, I'll give you a sand flea. Why not? All right. Ten new species. The aquarium will be packed in no time. So, hold on. Tell me if... Tell me that sand flea wound up somewhere, please. All right. Hello, derpy fish. I just really want to see the sand flea in a tank. Maybe in this low pool. This will probably be for like crabs and stuff. That's my guess. It's on the far left. In this one? Are those the sand fleas at the bottom there? <laughs> But they don't want to be in the water. They're dry land. Or are they? Wait, hold on. Okay, I've spent some time at the ocean. Are sand fleas those things that, you know, when, when the wave crashes and when it pulls back, there's those Vs and there's the little antennas that are sticking out of the water? You know what I'm talking about? People who've been on the ocean before? Is that a sand flea? Or is it an actual factual insect? Those are crabs. I thought so. I mean, maybe a type of crustacean. I don't know about a crab. Because you pull them out and they're all like... Right? They kind of look more like shrimp than crabs. I used to love catching those. No, they're literal fleas. Well then, why are we putting them in water? Hold on, where's my house? Sand fleas equal mole crabs. Oh, here's the bulletin board! There's a high demand for seafood even if no one wants to fish. These small jobs are a great way to generate some extra income. Take a task and let's get cracking. Okay. 
Um, work for Claude. Work for Claire. Two fish and chips. Favorite of the day, the cowled darter and the sizzling fish. Don't make fish cakes. Uh, let's work for Claire and make two fish and chips. Wow, $150 he does? Can I take them all? No, let's just take one for now. Let's not get greedy. Alright, we need to make two fish and chips. Check. Hey, welcome home. Wait, are you tuckered? I do need to sleep. Look how tired we are, chat. That was a big day out on the water. All right, uh, first things first, I need to make two fish and chips. Of course, we're gonna use cod. Wait, hold on, no, 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 let's make four. Let's make four Atlantic cod fish and chips. Wait, hold on, what's this? Purple tail, steamed purple tail. Yeah, let's just make four, because we may as well, right? Let's get cooking. Chop, chop time. Oh, God, you know what I need to have for dinner tonight? Fish and chips. Hey, Joe, how would you feel about fish and chips for dinner tonight, sweetie? Joe says yes. There's some great fish and chips place in Victoria. Did I steal your dinner idea? Oh, I, I think more than one person can have crap, see? Yeah, I'm sorry, fish and chips. Wait, I'm doing it. I'm gaming. I actually did it! Ooh. All right, and we're just gonna make, um, this sells for 25, okay. Learn this new recipe. So the trick to that mini game on the keyboard is actually hit down and an arrow key at the same time to pretend it's like a joystick, right? Serge, I need to eat fewer carbs. Please stop saying fish and chips. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry. I don't know what to tell you. Why don't you, and I mean this earnestly, get the, ch the fish on a salad instead of on fries? Potatoes are a vegetable. Uno, no. <laughs> Bad Uno. Caesar salad with fish? Yeah, right? I mean, okay, let's let's be honest with ourselves too. Caesar salad probably isn't that much better than fries. I like to tell myself it is, but let's be real. Now we fry it. Oh, we're doing so good now, chat. And then I bake it. Nailed it. Bacon is a vegetable. Oh no. <laughs> what have we done? Uh, I have enough fish. You know what? Let's just cook everything in my inventory. We can. There's always more fish, right, chat? There's always more fish. All right. We wash it first. I wonder if you get a bonus if you complete it in the correct order. I wonder if you have to complete it in the right order. Like, what if I boil it first? Oh, you have to do it in order. Okay. That makes sense. I did okay. 
Okay. Then we fry it. Then we bake it. Oh no, I undercooked it. And it's okay. <laughs> I'm sure we can just put it back on just a little longer, right? Okay. So I need two fish and chips. I realize I can put stacks in one place, but let's be honest. I'd much rather have everything filled, right? There we go. Y'all agree with me on this one? There. Nice. It's a good looking machine. And we have two extra fish and chips. Um, now I have to turn in a quest somewhere. I have no idea which quest I need to do to turn it in. Alright, hold on. Let's untrack a bunch of these. Complete three requests. Wait, uh, hide completed. There we go. Give Casper... Okay, no. Speak to Claire during the day. Work for Claire. Speak to Claire. Work for Claire. Speak to Claire, work for Claire. Claire is near the docks. Check. All right, so the docks right here. Okay, let's find Claire down by the sea. It's a rainy day. This is fine. Look, when you live when you live on the coast, you just get used to rain, right, chat? Are you Claire? You're Casper. Crap. Give item? Oh, interesting. Game lets me do that. Okay. Are you Claire? Mm. Claire! Mm. Mm. Everything okay, Claire? Mm. I don't get why people... Hey, we can learn how to tidy the beach now. Huh. You should have seen Dad's living room. It was like a noodly crash site. I mean the bay. There's so much garbage. It makes Mom sad, too. Huh. Then let me help you both. Why don't I find out... Wait, why don't I fish out some of that trash? I'd be your friend forever. Although cleaning the bay really ought to be its own reward. You're very wise for a nine-year-old. Nine and three quarters. Okay. Uh, more important, hi. I'm going to give you two fish and chips. So hold on, this, this nine-year-old, I'm scamming a nine-year-old at 150 bucks. I do not feel good about this. Man, how wealthy is this nine-year-old? All right, we got a quest done. Great. So how do I clean up garbage now, out of curiosity? I also see there's a little thing in the top right that has Zeds, which makes, which makes me think like I'm really tired. All right, let's go to bed. Clear those Zs. Pardon me, we're in Canada. Clear those Zs. We'll wake up rich, so it's perfect. And then we'll buy a, uh, a sonar for our boat. And then we'll do some more fishing. Oh, actually, I should get some more bait first. Just got like 14 hours of sleep. Oh, maybe the sonar lets us net? That's a good call, Arclight. There's no autosave? Okay. Did that do anything? How do I... How do I actually save? Yes. Perfect. Perfect. 
Oh, I have another door. Oh my goodness, look at this. A whole new world. Okay. Wow, we're so wealthy now. This is great. Okay, so my mission now... is going to be to get ourselves that sonar. Good morning. Yes, I'm looking for a sonar. Wait, I'm supposed to buy a radio is the quest, right? I guess I could buy both. Why not buy both? Check our quest. Purchase the radio. Okay. Let's just do that right now. This feels like the sort of game that I should just do things in order. Or else it might yell at me. Look, I don't like to think for myself too much. I have ordered one radio. Wait. I have ordered one radio. Nice. Uh, let's get some more bugs. Bugs? I yeeted too hard. I yeeted just hard enough. Too, too much power. Aha. No. Apparently, I can only catch those two over and over. Auto save when you auto save when you sleep is coming to the next patch. Awesome, good stuff. Oh, did I did I eat all of my new fish again without giving anything to the aquarium chat? No, that doesn't sound like me. Okay. Let's talk about our next step. And I think it's just getting back out into the water, right? Fish in different zones. Okay. Wait, I didn't even get points for any of those. So, one of the quests seemed to be... Oops. One of the quests seems to be... Steamed purple tail, which we could get in um, one of those areas. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. First off, let's uh, let's chop, chop some more bait. What's up, Alex? How you doing, friend? Bait. Chop, chop. good. Alright, we have 23 bait now. You ready to go out on the water? Yeah, you a good dog? Yeah, you're a good dog.
What's this? Hold on. Can I... Can I catch this? Maybe we finally have something we can do with our net chat. Aha! Clean up! We did it! this what's this I wonder all right you know what we're gonna start by just cleaning up this bay here I think this is a noble goal I've done it. I have made the bay clean. Ish. Anybody else see any other garbage? Oh, there's more garbage. There's always more garbage. Beep. 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 Ah. I think that's garbage too. Probably. Unless this is like new furniture for our house. What do we catch? Nope. Sure is garbage. This is an important part of fishing too, chat. A milk bag. I mean, if that doesn't scream Canada, I don't know what is. What does? All right, you know what? We're not gonna stop until this, this harbor is spotless. more garbage? What is this? This might be more garbage. Or it could be anything. Like, what are you? What are you? What are you? Remember to release younger garbage to avoid overfishing? Good call. You are? Ah. Driftwood. Driftwood's, driftwood's fine to leave in the water. I mean, it's bad for boats, but, like, that's, that's fine. Yeah, like, the, the worst part about driftwood is, like, hitting boats. Kind of a public safety thing. Yeah, maybe we can do some art with it. I've seen some people do some amazing things with driftwood, right? 
Uh, that's just more driftwood. Hold on. What, what about this? This looks different. Maybe some kind of message in a bottle? No, just a can. Okay, okay. Uh, let's do a bit of fishing now. So, so far our net has not actually gotten us any fish. And I was told, I was told, the net could be used to catch lots of fish at the same time. It's a net loss, oh my god. Where is this game meant to take place? East coast of Canada. Yeah, kind of just like generically the Maritimes, eh? Nineteen eighties. Is that supposed to be the aesthetic as well? How do you put it in the 80s? I could see this being modern day. No, eels. Get out of my boat. It's in the Prescott? Oh, okay. Bungle Blaze set along the eastern Canadian coastline during the 80s and offers players a diverse and emotionally charged story. All right, neat. Huh. All right, I don't feel like I'm getting anything new or exciting from this spot compared to what we had before. So let's go south a little bit here. There we go. The Azure Crossing. <gasps> there we go. What are these? This is new. This is new, chat. Let's try it with the net. What are you? <gasps> yes! Finally! What do we get? What do we get? Okay. White belly. Pollock. Pollock. Oh. The net did something, chat. Keep. Keep. Wow, we can just net so many fish here. Okay, so I feel like what we're learning from this area is how net fishing works, but it's actually nothing new. And let's check our quest to fish in different zones. Right, okay, we've now officially fished in the Azure Crossing. Let's go to the Perching Isles now. Uh, where are the Perching Isles? The Perching Isles are south. So let's head there. I can... Interesting. Hold on a second here. Let's catch this. This might be more garbage before we leave. Maybe even just another driftwood. What are you? Get in the net. Kelp!
Can you catch a school of fish swimming around? I tried. It didn't seem to work before. <gasps> What's this? I'm going to try and hit it with a net. I don't understand what I'm looking at. Maybe there's a way to land on this island? just plot we'll come back later okay so i see a bunch of fishing stuff up here let's go hang out with whatever this is um how are we doing for bait oh what have i done i've radioed somebody you need a tow back to town it'll cost you 38 dollar dues nope We're using the bait already. That's good. Hello. Let's see if this is a net fishing area. Yes, it is. All right, what do we catch here? So I don't have like a crab trap or a lobster trap or anything yet. All right, take you. Release the eel. <gasps> Water babies. I don't actually think I like that. I was excited at first, and I thought about more what they were trying to say, and then, uh, and then, yikes. Okay, water babies. What the what? No eel. The groundhog sea bug. Okay. Uh, the red drum and ling. Yeah. Okay, you're too far away. Wait, can I push you further out? No. Alright, let's fish in this direction while we wait for those to respawn. Yeet! That was not a very good yeet. What is wrong with my cast? There we go. Can you trawl in this game? That'd be kind of cool. Wait, there's a great big shadow underneath us. Oh, that's horrifying. Did anybody else see that? Oh man, I'm still getting I'm still getting flashbacks from Subnautica. Okay, okay, this is fine. This is fine. Nothing can hurt you in this game, Surge. This game is chill. This game is chill. More water babies. Say no to eels. <sighs> right? Everything's fine. Why wouldn't everything be fine? Keep. Beak bite beastie. Oh my god, I love it. No! No to eels! Don't make me tap the sign. Alright, we need to get a sign for our boat that just says no eels allowed. See, I'm tired!
All right, let's head home. Let's head home. We're very tuckered. Eels are only delicious if you know how to cook eels. Otherwise, they're just in the way. So we haven't taken any boat damage yet. So maybe there's like a mechanic that we're not aware of. Let's stop and get this garbage on the way. Okay, that one's a shadow. Okay, did I fall for a shadow earlier? The shadow of a cloud is what spooked me? That'd be a little bit embarrassing. possible to overfish an area we don't know yet pretty new to this it looked like those uh fishing spots came back pretty quick afterwards though all right let's do a couple of things um also where is the message board i thought it was like yeah it's right here all right anything else we can grab today and a fanged nipper make two fish and chips look at that $150 dues. Again, that's easy money. Wow. Fish cakes are worth 18% more. Okay. So after our next big sell here, I think we might be in a position where we can actually go and do our first investment in town, right? Just hopefully make it to the marina before they close for the day. Nice. Hello. I have all kinds of new friends for you. Oh, wow. I can actually sell. Straight up sell the water baby for $24 dues. I'm going to need more space. Now. Tell me about these water babies. The duck build trout dooms sailors by guiding them onto rocks. Just one question. Who's taking directions from fish? Okay. Uh, what else do we have here? God, there's so many fish in this game. There's the chompy wood shrimp. Generally minds its own business, keeping to a committed daily routine of algae and yoga. Fantastic. Okay. Um, the barnacle barnacle. Oh, the bubble barnacle. Said to be the illusory first sign of foam madness before the term was stolen by the Moss Creek Mattress Company. <laughs> and then the rhino sand flea. These handy beach dwelling crustaceans can be prepared into low grade bait in your kitchen. Okay. So some of this is just flavor talk. It doesn't actually let us know if it, uh, like what it's used for or anything, right? The bay ripple fish wagging its tail can cause an avalanche on the other side of the world. It's chaos. Possibly a misremembered metaphor. All right. Can you rebuild the town? That's kind of the meta plot of the game. Is uh, as you fish, as you catch more fish, more people come to hang out. More people come to visit the aquarium. Everything is worth more. The info down below is the most useful. Yeah, like time of day, stuff like that. This is rumored to be an undead white belly and should be fearfully avoided. Oh, wow. This fish is named for its unmistakable and ominous drumming sound. Adorable. Yeah, the Atlantic cod. Delicious with chips. <laughs> Hey, what's up, Max? How go the Maritimes? Very good, actually. Very good. Having a very cozy time here. 
All right, so first things first, let's cook ourselves uh, some fish and chips. And let's cook up all our fish and stuff. And then after this, we have a quest to turn in. And then let's go complete our first town project. We need two fish and chips. Check. Let's go ahead. Actually, let's check the other recipes. Purple tail, ling, white belly. Okay, we'll just use cod. Good old Atlantic cod. I like fish and chips because the recipe is super easy. Chop, and then you fry. Oh, okay, I burnt the fish a little. That's probably fine. Then you chop. And then you boil. Come back. <laughs> Super easy. So the purple ling was one of the recipes that kid wanted, right? Oh, I hit the wrong button. In that I hit a button when I wasn't supposed to. we go. Delicious and nutritious fish and chips. So I think this is the purple tail, right? Ooh, steamed in a wok. Have we made this one yet? Let's make it. All right, first things first, we gotta wash this fish. Yeah. And then we chop chop it. Then bake it in the oven. Nice. Nailed it. Then finally, because they're on sale, let's make a bunch of fish cakes. Out of white bellies? Hold on. Sorry. That's 23. Let's go with an order of most money to least money. And we'll make our way down the list, right? Naruto's? Is that what you saw in the art? Okay, now we make all the white bellies. And see, I almost used these expensive fish for something less good. Oh wow, this is such an easy recipe. Just wash it and fry it. You ever had just like a whole fish before? The last time I ordered a whole fish at a restaurant was actually, god, 2013? Uh, so we were at this beautiful, like, random small island in the south of Thailand. And there was some celebration they were having, and this fisherman just showed up with just this huge spread of, like, fresh-caught fresh fish just on ice. And I was just like, is that just like a two-kilo cod? What was it? It was like a rock cod or something like that? I'm like, yeah, we'll take the whole thing. And then, you know, like 15 minutes later, the exact same fish, except slightly grilled, was on this plate. And uh, that's when I discovered that Joe was not very comfortable deboning fish. So the first thing I did was I, uh, I basically just like prepared a 
um, separated an entire fish for Joe. Joe's shouting from the other room. She's like, I'm fine. It just takes me longer to eat. It was great. I don't know. I grew up eating fish, so like deboning a fish never never really seemed like an issue to me, if that makes sense. Just like, yeah. You're like, fish just have bones. Fish just have bones. Joe's shouting at me from the other room. She feels as though I am slandering her right now. <laughs> I feel like this recipe is too many steps to really be worth the amount of money we get out of it. Alright. Okay. This is good enough. Who's a good dog? If I were meant to eat fishbone, I'd be a seagull. <laughs> Alright, um, wait, I can just sell? Hold on, time out. Should I just sell some, you know what, I'm just gonna sell some decorative barnacles, who cares? spot there. Beautiful! Okay, so I have quests to turn in. How oh, dare they steal our Wiggins. Alright, let's talk to the child here. Hello, I collect so much garbage. We're best friends now. I have made it official. Give me your book. Don't you feel happier? Sure. Like you said, we shouldn't need a reason to help the environment. Now you sound like a self-righteous Saturday morning cartoon. What? Goodbye. Goodbye, small child. Nine, she says. And three quarters. She'll go far. <laughs> Adorable. Hello, other small child. I'm excited about that steamed purple tail, Mr. Fisher. About that. Where did your dad used to catch the ingredients? Around? Okay. Give item. Here you go. That's so kind, Mr. Fisher. It's weird. I was thinking how much smells and food can remind you of stuff. Absolutely. Hey, look at our very good dog in the background of the shot, chat. Wait, our daughter's in-game model looks a lot like your mom did in the 80s? That's amazing. With the glasses and everything? That's awesome, Arclight. Maybe there's a better way of remembering somebody than the recipe. Maybe it's more like how we live, how we approach every single day. Sure, that's even better. What were you going to say? Two recipes. Adorable. I guess you can just have the second one. Oh! It's probably a lesson here. That's right. Don't second-guess teenagers. Sure. Okay, and where do I go for this final turn-in? Maybe around here, I guess? Are, are you the person I'm looking for? Huh. Kind of busy right now. Let's talk later. Am I supposed to be turning it into Katie? No, we're looking for I... Oh, this is the... Okay, if I get there at 6 in the morning at the tech place, unless they're outside right now. No, that's the kid. Mr. Grotto, yeah! Uh. Wait, nope, that's a different person. Oh. You know, everyone in town. I don't usually care for seafood, but perhaps I could sample your surf and turf. Happy to oblige. So one issue here is the fact that... I can't see who I'm talking to before I talk to them. You know what I mean? Because I haven't learned to recognize the pixels yet. It'd be great if the name popped up. You're like, yes, this is who you're looking for. Hey, I've got your fish. For the quest. Wonderful. This town needs more people like you. Here's your money. 
Heck yeah. Can't wait to play this. Jobs getting in the way of the gaming. Yes, but think of it instead as your job enables your gaming because it lets you buy video games. All right, uh, let's track the cozy cavern, which is up this way. Love the game, but it could use some quality of life stuff. Oh yeah, it'll get there. Like the nice thing about games is as long as the core concept is there and sound, everything else is easy to fix, right? All right, time to upgrade this sign, chat. Nothing says get lost like a broken sign. What have we done? Ooh, it's so fancy now. Our first home, our first improvement for the town. Amazing. That's all we need to renovate. Thank you so much. Um, Surge. Wait, you don't know who I am? But I'm the famous sad guy who locked himself up for three years. I'm Jean-Pierre, but call me JP. Everyone does. Come inside. No harm basking in a little well-earned adulation, eh? When? Like when? When did you help during this entire reno? Elvis Laurel, I cleaned the pipes. You changed one barrel. You barely even helped before. All you ever do is frighten away customers with your credulous drivel. Huh. Oh. Hey, Serge, welcome to the Improved Cozy Cavern. What can I get you? How about a tall glass of information? Huh. What's up, Ambu Agent? Thank you so much for four months of fish. Appreciate the support, friend. What? Sorry, dad humor. We're actually researching the bay's unusual fish. Amazing. Don't worry, JP, I got this. Elvis, lovely to meet you. Ask me anything. <laughs> uh. Let's start big. What's the scariest creature in the ocean? There are plenty that look frightening. Spider eyes, massive claws, giant fangs. Okay. But the opulent skycaster tops them all. The merest glance will invoke a profound existential dread. Okay. Hmm. What would you say is the least frightening creature out there? Mm -hmm. The groundhog sea bug. All right. <clears throat> That's fair. It's a little too industrious. What does he need all that algae for? Amazing. Hey, sepsis. Thank you for 40 months. God, these numbers are getting really big, chat. 40 months? Thank you for all the wholesome and uplifting content. Oh my god. That makes me, that, this makes me realize I'm going to need to get like a four-year bean badge soon, chat. Huh. <sighs> This is a lot. All right, another question. Any more fishy tales? What's the rush? This level of high caliber dream weavery takes time. Come back in a bit. I'll tell you some more stories. Okay. Okay, that's fair. Wait. Oh, no. Are there mini games? Okay. <clears throat> At first, I was thinking maybe netherite. Maybe netherite. Amethyst. Amethyst would be purple? That'd be kind of neat. We could stick with the uh, the Minecraft theme for a bit. Okay, so I can't talk to JP unless I can come in from the side. Oh, I can. Hi, JP. Forgot about those grilled oysters. No, I didn't forget about them. I just don't have any yet. Can we go upstairs? No. This is a, actually a really nice detail. So JP, the owner here, is in a wheelchair. There's stairs, but there's also an accessibility elevator here. There's a piano. There's a gumball machine. <clears throat> There's a book. Neat. So I can't interact with anything else there, but that's okay. All 
All right, they're closed for the day. So, how are we doing? I've only got like 20 minutes left today. Unfortunately, I have to do a sl uh, shorter stream because I've got a hashtag sponsored Card Kingdom Commander appearance on the official Card Kingdom channel today at 1 p.m. So we've only got like another 20 minutes. So here's what we're going to do. Let's really quickly sleep and let's head out and let's check out the third new fishing spot. <clears throat> Hello, Trash Panda. Oh my god, we're so rich. So it looks like every time a full day goes by, everything in our vending machine sells, which is really cool. Get out of our garbage. That's my garbage. I worked hard for it. All right. So give me a second here. We have one last fishing area right which is the border sea so let's find where the border sea is <laughs> are you the border sea all right so we want to head out and then we want to head south our boy moving up in the world with all the sponsored content well thank you So is this a fishing macro game? What do you mean when you say macro game? All right, so let's head here. Let's see if I can net fish some more. I did not park my boat in a great spot. Oh, look! Sinking Blacksmith. That's really funny. What's the other one called? Two of them. Incredible. Fishing game is usually mini. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, the entire point of this game is to fish. Snurge has been patched. Added logic quotes. Okay. Snurge has been dismantled and reassembled as some kind of Frankenbot. Fixes on ellipses. Amazing. All right. Another Blacksmith. No eels! This is an eel-free boat, chat. All right, we're gonna back up a little just to get a slightly better angle when we throw out our net here. There we go. See, like that. What's wrong with eels? Have you seen eels recently? They're horrifying. Ooh, a chin cutter. All right, let's fish off this side now. What do you do to get the turf part of surf and turf? I don't know. Hold on. Fantastic. You managed to catch something in Azur Crossing, Perching Isles, and the Border Sea. But I'm curious. We haven't seen any signs of this so-called monster. We must be missing something. Maybe we'll learn more back in town. Ah! Maybe we could find out in the cozy tavern. Neat. Ooh, a fanged nipper. Look at that. Look at those teeth.
Yeet. That was a very poor yeet. <gasps> the local red. No eels. Yeah, we should really call the dish uh, Surf and Trans Rights. Am I right? <laughs> no turfs in our boat. Are the eels not worth it? I can neither sell nor cook eels at this point, and as such, they don't go in our boat. You say no, yeah, maybe we'll change our mind when we get the eel recipe. Until then, no eels. <laughs> Alrighty, let's go this way. Let's try switching up our, our lure layout again. So, we were trying out with the jig. Let's give it a little spinner here and see what happens. But first, the net. They don't make money, they don't belong in the boat. Exactly. Ooh, a striped bass. Wow, we got a whole bunch of them. Heck yeah, we're making so many new fish friends, chat. Oh, this is an interesting experience. They're mowing the lawn outside and I can, um, I can smell the exhaust, but I kind of like it. Is that weird? Hi, Tex. You just stopped cackling? Nice. What's up, friend? Hope you and Elle are doing well. It's like that mix of, um, that, like, very specific fuel mix that you get in, like, lawnmowers and boat engines and stuff like that. All right, let's try two or three more casts with this and we'll try the last lure just to see if there's another fish here we haven't caught yet. Fish are friends, not food. Oh, I got bad news for you, Spethy. <laughs> uh, uh, hey, a new friend. Ooh, the blazing inker. I'm sorry, this squid weighs 103 kilos. That's like 225 pounds, chat. That's a big fish. That's a big fish. Which, again, lends credence to the fact that Canadians are actually 70 feet tall and weigh about four tons. The cowled darter. All right, I'm going to keep fishing with this. Look, what can I tell you? We're like 50 years old and we're ripped. Never seen proof otherwise. Yeah. Not just ripped. Blessed by the God ripped. Oh yeah, like Hercules. Okay, let's try the last... But first, let's yeet our net again here. We'll try our last uh, fishing combination. It's got a, the old net going here. Oh, jeez! Look at this! All right, if I'm not ripped, explain to me how I just pulled in 200 kilos with my with like my one hand. Like Adam Savadan ripped? Oh yeah, like a Greek god carved out of marble. Alright, let's uh one more one more setup here. So let's try let's try the plug. Alright, we're gonna fish through the night, and then we wanna get to the museum just as it opens in the morning. So we'll start heading back at about 6 a.m. 
the water adds buoyancy. All right, we got some crusted orbs. I think that's also new. No eel. Get out, eel. You know what you did. Is it just me or does that local red look too keen? Like it's up to something. Like it's going to do crimes. Well, you've unlocked some boat upgrades and they're great. Oh, I, I want to get into some upgrades, three cats. I was kind of hoping there is a little bit more RPG. In that, like, we'd have a skill tree or something like that. But, like, I guess storytelling and meta progress is also, you know, also pretty good. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm having a good time. Why do I need skill trees in every game? Does it even make sense? No. <laughs> All right. Not really catching anything new with this particular setup. Let's go with a couple more. Ooh. Hello. The Notre Dame Sand Digger. That, sorry, sorry, this Sand Digger weighs 276 kilos. This one weighs 300. Oh my God. What is this? Some quick math. This is like 600 tons. God, we're so ripped. We're so ripped. I'm telling you, chat. I'm telling you. Man, why even fish when I can just net? How is the boat even still floating? It's a huge boat. We're talking about Canadian buoyancy technology here. The problem is people who aren't from Canada just don't understand the scale of Canadians. We're like the giants of fantasy. <laughs> yeah, the boat's like a kilometer long. Get out of here, eel. Exactly. Man, I, I I just feel so lacking with a fishing rod now. Is there any way to change the weights to metric? Uh, this is metric? Do you mean... What's the... What's the American system called? It's not imperial. What? Oh, God. It is Imperial. It is Imperial? Oh. Why'd I think Imperial was wrong? The <laughs> freedom. Yeah, what 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 are your freedom units? <laughs> Get out of here, eel. You got your dad a special fishing ruler for Christmas? The numbers go 1, 5, 8, 12, 15. That's actually amazing, Mercano. That's really funny. Oh, here, sweetie. I'll come out in just a sec. Thank you so much. Joe made uh, an early lunch today, so we'd have a chance to eat before the, uh, the hashtag sponsored content. So yeah, remember that uh, that commander deck we made on stream the other day? That's for the event this afternoon. In just under an hour. Over at the Card Kingdom Twitch channel. Get in my net. Very good. Okay. Let's start driving our boat back. And we want to head to the north. 
So let's change our camera angles a bit here. There. That smells really good, Jojo. Wait, there's a railroad. Wait, where am I? Oh, neat. Somebody built a railroad right over the sea. <laughs> oh, this is really pretty. What's going on here? Wait, hold on. Hold on. What's going on here? Can I net them? I'm going to try. Oh, that's just seaweed. Never mind. Back in the boat. I thought those were a bunch of fish on the surface. You feel this game is important post Subnautica Catharsis? Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, take that fish. Who's the predator and who's the prey now? <laughs> Wait, this looks like an excellent net spot. Just back off a bit here. Yeet. Tail, nope, and ling. Did I manage to perfectly throw it between two fish and catch neither? That takes skill. Ah, nice. <laughs> you did! Thank you. Awesome. Okay. You split the pins. That's uh, my skill and my curse. Okay, we still haven't cleaned up the garbage on the shore yet, but that's okay. We'll get there eventually. Are these little crabs? Okay, no, they're little starfish. I don't know why I panic saved before we went in to try and give away our fish. Wait, are you not here yet? Hello? I'm here to turn in my fish, please. Thank you for showing this game off. I can already feel you're going to lose a bunch of hours in the game. It's very cozy. Hello. I have so many new fish for you. Look at them all. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine new fish. Wow. Hopefully these will, these will rank in new visitors. Look how silly it is. Our squid's in here. Wow. Oh my god. Uh, I kind of feel like this one could just step out anytime it wanted to. Look at the size of it. It says, please do not reach your hand into the tank with the enormous insect thing. Wow. So the squid is 100 kilos. This one was like 300, right? That's just an endermite. Yeah. Are we sure this isn't going to reach subnautica levels? Uh, no comment. No comment. Neat! Huge success. Anybody need me to cook anything? One whole fish. Wow, that's it? For 150 bucks? Wait, do I have any fanged nippers now?
No. Was one of these quests just to chat? I mean, I guess, but who knows? Sure. You know what? Whatever. Let's take that quest. All right. We're going to grab this. We're going to head back. Um, and I think we're going to save in the house. And then we're going to call it there because, um, yeah, out of time. Shorter stream today, my friends. Apologies. But, you know, we wait. No, no, no. One very important thing to do first. You're a good dog. Yeah, good. All right, everybody. This has been super cozy. Hope you enjoyed the stream. I already did save. Whatever. Okay, sure. Hope you enjoyed watching Moon Glow Bay. And once again, thank you very much. I was provided a key for this. We did a big disclosure at the top of the stream and wanted just in case you're joining later to know that. So the publisher... Oh god, I had written everything down and it was gone. That's embarrassing. Where did I put that tab? Nope. That information is just gone. The publisher's watching. You bought a copy because of me? Well, thank you very much for that. No, I need to know this information. This is super embarrassing. So Bunny Hug was the devs and Coat Sync. I got the key from the publisher Coat Sync. So thank you to both of them for or for the opportunity to do this. This was very cool. I appreciate it. Uh, thank you for hanging out, friends. Thank you for the subs and the bits and all the support. I appreciate it. I'll be back with more of this game tomorrow at 9 a.m. So if you're having a good time, you think this game is super cozy, fret not. We'll get a chance to play some more of it tomorrow. And uh, yeah, the reason we're ending early is today at 1 p.m. over at the Card Kingdom Twitch channel. Uh, check out my Twitter for more information. I'm going to be playing some Commander with Olivia and Mana Curves and a wonderful person named Chris from CK. That should be super fun if you're a fan of Magic the Gathering. So come and hang out and watch all that. I'm going to very quickly have lunch. I won't be streaming that. That'll be on their channel. But yeah, I'm going to very quickly have lunch and then transform my office back into a Magic streaming setup. Heck yeah. All right. Uh, let's do a complete 180 tone-wise. My buddy Adam is checking out the Darkest Dungeon 2. I tend to be very family friendly. Adam is a delight, but will swear. And a uh, bit more of like a content warning for Darkest Dungeon. But the game just came out. It's very cool. It's very exciting. Uh, go send some positivity. Go let Adam know that he is loved. Thanks for watching, friends. I'll see you this afternoon or tomorrow morning. Have a good one. Bye-bye.